Well, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya. And if you're returning, well, today I'm gonna to be working on spring and Easter DIYs. First of all, I wanna say thank you to everyone that has been subscribing to my channel. The channel has been growing over the last couple of weeks. And as soon as I reach that 4,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway for an Amazon gift card. So everyone, if you don't mind, I hope you like, share, and comment on each video. And I will be leaving links in the description to playlists that you can watch if you would like to do so. I'm gonna kinda of change my schedule up a little bit. I've been collecting quite a bit on my hauls and I wanna use a lot of that up. So I am gonna go check out places and if there's anything that I feel like we really need to get out there and show you, then I'll go ahead and grab those items. And also, I'm gonna be using the living room in here now to do my haul videos. I thought that that would help you to be able to see the items when I hold them up and everything. I know it was really hard to see me in the dining room. I do have a very small home, so I kind of have to maneuver everything around in here, but I like to keep it all kind of sweet and cozy, as you can see. But I will change it up and be doing some of the haul videos, and when it warms up, we'll do some walk with me through the stores. And I'm gonna try to start doing more of the um, thrift flips, boy that one's hard to say, thrift flips, <laughs> for the first part of the week. And then you can always count on the Dollar Tree DIYs every Saturday at 11 a.m. Well, everyone, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into DIY number one. For DIY number one, we're gonna be making this beautiful wall art piece. For this design, I used three of these pictures from Dollar Tree, and I love these. They have that galvanized center, and on the back, it's completely clean where you can put anything you want on it. Now, of course, I'm gonna to touch this up with that cottage white chalk paint, and I did put a couple of layers on here, and I didn't tape this one off because you can really just scrape that right off of the uh, tin if you get any paint on there. So that was really, really easy to do. Everyone, I love this DIY. Those wall decals, if you can find those with the succulent plants on them at Dollar Tree, definitely grab those. I've been lucky enough to find four different ones at two different Dollar Trees, but you kind of have to look through all of those wall decals because they're kind of mixed in, but these are probably my all-time favorite wall decals that I have found at Dollar Tree yet. And there's so many of these succulents on just one sheet and it, you can do so many different things as you will see I'm going to be doing in this video today. So I just picked out three that I really really liked and put down through here just to kind of have kind of a symmetrical look. I was going to mix in some of the little plants and I decided that I wanted all of them that kind of had that stop sign shape and boy once I got this hung up on the wall it just looks so beautiful. And here's a little video of where I displayed it. I actually put this in my kitchen and I just love it there. Now for our next DIY, we're gonna be making this bunny centerpiece. I absolutely love the way this one turned out also. It was so simple, everyone. I took two of those bunnies that had that white wash on them. I did go ahead and freshen it up once again with that cottage white. I just love that color in my decor this year. And I ended up using some of that new shelf liner paper that they have at Dollar Tree. And if you can find that with that uh, light green and the white flowers running through there, I ended up putting that on the back side of the bunnies. And I just wanted to have that kind of that little hint of something in there that you could see after I got my greenery in this design. But there I am, I'm just gonna cut that out. I did have to kind of trim that out just a little bit. Uh, it's really hard to cut that out with scissors and get it to fit perfect. So you may have to just take your little utility knife and just cut a few little places off. Or you can use a sanding block also, but I didn't wanna mess up my paint because I, 
it painted it so white I was afraid that the sanding block might get a little bit of dinginess up to it but either way will work fine and whatever color you decide to paint your bunny but you can see how pretty this is gonna be you could actually uh, uh, left the shelf liner on the outside of the design but I decided of course I wanted my white now I do end up cutting that little pocket out and that was just to help it adhere to the wood box that I'm going to glue these bunnies onto and I did end up using my Cricut I'm finally making friends with my Cricut and I found this green vinyl at uh, I think I was at Walmart when I found no it was Hobby Lobby I found that and I love this saying sweet spring so that's what I ended up putting on here and like I said I'm gonna have to do a video and just show you all the little things that I've put up and where I've displayed them at and this time I decided to go with a little bit different greenery I wanted to use the ones that Dollar Tree calls the spider plant and it just turned out so beautiful but everyone i hope you're enjoying these so far i've got just a few more today i only did uh four different designs because i'm actually going to be doing that thrift store video the first part of the week and i'll leave a link to that haul video and you'll get to see the pieces that i picked up again now you can see where that really helped where I cut that little piece of uh, shelf liner off the back and that would help it adhere really well to the box. Well everyone, once again, I would like to thank all of you that have been subscribing to my channel. I am so happy to have you all joining my YouTube family. I have so many DIYs this year in 2022 that I want to share with everyone and I just can't wait to get those all out. I mean, it seems like I'm just full of designs lately and just I have to write them all down in a book so I don't forget them. Everyone, look at how cute this is turning out and I don't even have the greenery in there yet and of course I took some of those foam blocks from Dollar Tree and just hot glued those in there but this is a keeper for me and I did use removable vinyl on here and that way I thought if I wanted to change out the same and you could also use those sticker letters from Dollar Tree they have so many different styles now that you could pretty much use whatever you wanted on here and here we go we're going to go ahead and add those little spider plant picks in there just love this design how it turned out and I actually set it in the center of my table I meant to do a video there but I really like the lighting up there where I do the uh, small videos with the old window behind it and look how sweet this is now I do take and add just a couple of those little um, twine bows to the ear. I was going to fill in those holes where the hanger was and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put these little twine bows up there and everything that I did, I did on both sides and that way it could be used as a centerpiece on your table. And here it is displayed on the shelf. Everyone, definitely let me know what you think of the bunny centerpiece with the spider plant. Because I know this is definitely my favorite of all of them that I did today. Now for our next DIY, I'm going to do another one of those bunny wall arts with that bunny shape wreath rim. And this time I took one of those little bunny butts and I took some fabric I had in my craft box, some more greenery, some more yarn. And I'm going to remove the feet off of here and I'm going to end up wrapping those feet in some yarn. 
and then I just cover the bottom part there with that butterfly fabric and I just thought that was pretty fabric you could do this design in any color that you wanted but this was something I had and it kind of had that little neutral vibe in there and so I thought that I would give it a try and I was happy with how it turned out not sure if it was my favorite one because I really really like the centerpiece bunny but it looks really cute on my wall and it kind of goes in with the whole neutral theme that I'm doing this year for my spring and Easter decor. Now, it's very important that you really glue this fabric down, and I'll be cutting out a top panel to glue over top, and the reason why you need that is because you're going to cut little slits in that piece of fabric you'll see me do here in a moment and that's how we're going to attach the bunny shaped wreath rim because i'm going to cut the little holes in there and then zip tie it on and it held really well i did use a little bit of hot glue in a couple of places but it seemed to stay really well and the greenery that i'm going to be adding on to here I don't actually glue that in because I like to be able to take my greenery out of things and use it for different designs. But uh, here I go. I'm going to go ahead and wrap these little feet up. I think, I think I'm going to move up on from the yarn now. I've been doing so much with this yarn. But everyone, I think that yarn that Dollar Tree has is so pretty. It's just really neat to try to find different things that we can do with it. But it did make really, really pretty feet for this bunny. Now, I ended up getting those packs of pom-poms because I couldn't find the large bunny tail, and it worked really well. I put four on the bottom and one on the top, and then I just kind of took my fingers and just pulled it apart until I could get it kind of to stick together until it just shaped one round little white poofy ball, and it turned out great. Now, what I'm going to do here is you'll see me after I get these ears wrapped. Oh, let me tell you, this is a neat little tip. When you're trying to wrap something like this, whether it's rope or yarn, put five or six strands together. You will get that done so much quicker. Now what we're going to do with the little bunny butt, we're going to take and bring that about halfway down because I want to leave a little pocket to pop that greenery in there, almost as if the bunny is just jumping in the, the weeds or the bushes. And it turned out really cute and it looks really cute hanging on the wall. Now you can see where I cut those little slits in there, I'm just reaching through there and grabbing under that fabric and zip tying those on. And like I said, I just put a little dab of hot glue in a couple of places and it held just fine. And you can use the wreath rim to actually hang it up on. And see, you can take your greenery and just pop it right in there in between the wires in your wreath rim and it holds just fine. Now, I did pop a whole bunch of greenery in here, everyone, and once I got it on the wall where I could really see it, I kind of just took my little heavy-duty scissors, and I trimmed it down just to give it more of a rounded shape. Well, everyone, I hope you are enjoying today's DIYs. I have two more really quick ones at the end here, and don't miss those. They're really simple, but they turned out really pretty. But I do want to thank you once again for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you do consider doing so. I have so many DIYs to share with everyone this year. And don't forget, as I said at the beginning, if you can help me get to that 4,000 subscribers, I'm going to do that Amazon gift card for the giveaway. Now, I'm just trimming everything down, and you can see that greenery is just pretty wild. And I like doing the ears like that because you can bend them. But look how cute this is hanging on the wall.
Okay, everyone, for our last DIYs, we're gonna be creating these little succulent pictures. This could not have been simpler. These picture frames from Dollar Tree, which you have to be a little careful with. They're not the best quality, but for a seasonal decor item, they work great. I'm gonna take more of those succulents. Everyone, if you can find those succulents, try to find them. I mean, I have enjoyed using those and I still have a few more ideas that I would like to do. Now, I did print off that Hello Spring on my Cricut and I'm just going to put that at the top of this one, but you could also do the same thing once again with those letters from Dollar Tree that would work just the same. But this was a really neat, just nice little accent picture to set up and I've actually got some of these I'll have to do the, show you that when I do a video of where I displayed everything. And I have a large entertainment center. You probably noticed that behind me. And I did several of those pictures just lined up there with all these succulents. And it just looks very fresh and very clean and neat. And I just love the, the idea of using these picture frames like that. Now I'm just using some cardstock here. And I like to use a cardstock because it's a thicker texture and it works great just to give you that clean white background. Be very careful though if you are using your uh, vinyl at, when you're peeling it off so you don't tear your paper. I'm just going to apply this up at the top and then you'll see I'm just going to take, I think I take a couple cactuses and put on one side and I kind of placed it over the lettering a little bit just like the plant was growing over top of it. But I love how this sign turned out and it was so simple everyone. They really do have some pretty decals for the wall that you can find. They had some florals there that I may go back and get some of those, but I, I'm loving that green right now, and I've always loved that in my decor, so that's definitely what I'm going to be using for a couple months anyway. I think I end up taking the yeah, I get the little coffee cup and put in the center. But everyone, look at this. So cute and so simple. Now I found this tiny white little frame and I decided that I just wanted to take that one little cactus plant there and pop right in the center of this and it just made a very just simple kind of a minimalist style just little piece of spring decor that I could set up somewhere. I think I might actually put this one in my little office area or maybe in a bathroom. But look how cute this picture turned out. So sweet and simple. Well, everyone, that's it for today's DIYs. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you had a favorite, and if you're going to try some of these creations, drop me a comment and let me know. And also, 
I want to thank everyone once again for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll consider doing so because I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a blessed day today. And I will see you the first part of the week with, I think we're going to be doing some thrift store makeovers. Thank you.